Panthers are back home this week against South Dakota. One o'clock game inside the Dome. And why are you excited to be back home again, especially coming off that big win at South Dakota State last week? Well, that's that's why it's big. We're, we're, we, we created some momentum, had some excitement on the road. Now we get to come back home with a, with a different mindset than we had last time. So hopefully we can take advantage of that, build from what we did, and become a stronger team. Most fans know that South Dakota defeated North Dakota State at North Dakota State. Not many teams have done that. How are they able to do that, and why are they such a tough opponent this week, Coach? They changed everything they were doing and, and, and made some nice adjustments. And now that the players are more experienced doing their new system, each week they get better. But they beat North Dakota State at North Dakota State's game. They beat them at the line of scrimmage, and that's what, that's what was impressive. So what do you kind of expect looking offensively and defensively what it might come down to in this football game? Oh, it'll, it'll come down to much like the South Dakota State game and the North Dakota State game. It's going it's to be a, a battle at the line of scrimmage. There's going to be some hard hits because the type of the style of game that they play right now and the style that we play, it becomes a very physical, fast, hard-hitting ball game. So I, I expect the same out of this game uh, this weekend. Is their offense unique? I mean, they put up a lot of points last week against Missouri State. You know, they're, they're changing that as well. I wouldn't say it's unique. It just became more productive with how they're spreading the field. And they're doing, you know, they're, they're playing, you know, North Dakota State-style football. I mean, they, they're getting in two tight ends now and two tight ends and just trying to knock you off the ball. Where last year, they were trying to spread people out. So I think they feel their tight ends are better maybe. Their offensive line is better than what it was last year. And they're just lining up and trying to eat the clock up and, and beat you at the line of scrimmage. This Missouri Valley Football Conference is just a dogfight this year, Coach. Well, we've already played. I mean, every game we played has been a ranked team, and you know, we've we've beaten three ranked teams already, and then we've 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 taken a hit on a couple. But you know, if you sit here now and say that you've beat number six, number five, and number sixteen, you feel pretty good. But in this league, you better wake up because the next number six or number five is coming in this weekend, and you know everybody's got the same. Uh, type of attitude what they want to be in this this South Dakota team is, is on a good roll too It's a Halloween game kids bring your costumes out. They're giving away free candy That might add to some of the atmosphere going on a uh, Halloween game Missouri Valley Football Conference against a good South Dakota team Yeah, it should be fun. We moved it up to one o'clock because the one thing about you and I this is a family Atmosphere this is for the families and we know that the you know the, the, the trick-or-treats that night But I just want to make sure that we do our job, you know, and, and do our job at one o'clock so that we all can enjoy the evening. Should be a fun day. Good luck, coach. Thanks. And now our highlights of the week for Panther Sports Talk. Thanks for watching us.